When you first start in, you get this message uh, telling you basically how to get started. You need a granary, logging camp, forager hut, and storehouse. Now this forager hut could change depending on what is around you. So for example, if we zoom out, you can see there's some wild animals and there's two sets of berries. If there's no berries, but there's wild animals, it'll tell you to build a hunting cabin. So let's first start off with, we need a logging cabin and a granary. Let's start with the logging cabin right near the woods. And we're going to plop down some road right here. So we plop down a road. Let's go ahead and make a nice little circle here. And we'll try and contain everything in our little town. Right in this area. We can split it up again later. We also need a granary, so we're going to go over to the storage. And this is going to be not really for food production, although we will have berries going out there too. So maybe that'll be okay anyways. Let's leave a little space between in case we want to do a little road back there at some point. Let's put the two storages right next to each other and gathering for the berry hut. Now one of the nice things about the hunting cabin is you get both meat and pelts. The berry, the, the forester hut, you only get berries, so you're, you're not able to make clothing out of that. Right, so we're going to unpause, go max speed, we'll start building everything over here. Now you don't have, you don't have the ability to assign anybody yet because we don't have any buildings. But once they pop up, we're going to need to assign people for them to start working in there. And we will need some timber because we just used all of it. So we'll have at least one person go in there, everybody else can help build. The sooner we get the buildings up, the better we'll be. So the buildings are done. We can now assign people if we need to, which we still have somebody up here collecting some timber because we're going to need that to build more buildings. All right, it's going to give us the new new quest. So we need to build a well and some burgage plots as for people to live. But more importantly, we've got exposed storage. So all these things are going to continue to degrade if we don't get them into storage soon. So let's assign some people to the storehouse, a couple to the granary, and they're going to go grab this stuff, put it back into storage so it doesn't degrade. We don't want to lose any of this stuff for, for no reason. And let's go ahead and relocate. That's where our ox is stored. So now he'll he'll come back here. He won't have to move all the way over there. And we'll wait till everything's in storage, ready to go. So the storehouse probably is good to go. Let's move everybody over to the granary. Now we can see in here we're going to run low on food pretty soon. So what that means is we need to put some people on food. Let's actually do that. Let's preemptively put some people there. We're going to need quite a bit of timber as well, so we'll, we'll need to get on that pretty soon. There's still some stuff there. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and move that around. Let's put one person. So this is materials, firewood, and tools, which is going to go in the storehouse, not the granary. That's why they weren't moving out. So let's put one there. Put the rest in the forger's hut so we don't starve. Because again, we are starting to run low on food. If you hover your mouse up here, it'll tell you how many months you have worth of supplies. So three months of food and 18 months of fuel. We don't have to worry about fuel for quite a while. Food we do need to worry about, which is why we put three on the forager hut. So that should help quite a bit. Yeah, they got to grab it one by one. It's a slow process. But once it's done, it's done. We can take them off of that. All right, there we go. So that's that. So let's take him off of there. We probably want to put one more to gather timber. And let's go ahead and pause it here so we can go back to, let's see, we need to go to village life. And under village life, there's burgerage pot and well. Bring up the well, it'll tell you where water is running. So you can't put this anywhere except for over some kind of underground stream. Now you can have different overlays here. So these are all very important. This will tell you where the water is. This is for different types of farm. So we'll, we'll be using a, quite a bit of this. The, bar, the barley, the em, emmer, and probably flax. Although we may not use flax. Probably the emmer and the barley. Barley is rough. There's not really much around. So we may have to either skip that and trade for it or go somewhere else. But this looks decent. We'll be able to cut some land out here. But back to the task at hand, we need some water. And let's just put it right here. And I think what we're going to do...
let's just make this as uninteresting and unexciting as possible. <laughs> We're going to go modern city grid build because that's just how I do it. All right, Burgridge pop plot. So if you make it big enough, you can get these things back here, which allows for, for additions where you can either grow vegetables, you can raise chicken for eggs or goats for milk. Or if you make them a little bit smaller, you save space. Uh, that's a little too small. All right, we're, we're too stingy on that. We got to go a little bigger. <laughs> All right, so that's just a single one. If you right click, you can take away the last plot point that you had. And you want to rotate it. So here we go. So now we can we can build two here and they don't have any extra add ons. I don't really use the add ons. I did in the first playthrough I did and I found it was not as efficient as if you just did the, um, the other buildings. So we're going to skip that. So let's see how many we can get here. If we can get all four. Uh, what do we need? We need to go a little further. Out. Oh, it's because we need more. We need more lumber. So let's just wait till we get the lumber and then we'll start it all at once. So we've got our eight timber that we need. Let's go ahead and start with the burgage plot. And again, we'll, we'll draw it out nice and wide. All right, so that's too thin. We need to go a little wider. Actually, what we can do is connect it with that. That should be fine. And this one's gonna have the extra, I don't really care. We probably just won't use it. We'll just leave it like that. If we do it this way, we could fit five. So that means our, our shape is probably just inefficient. So let's try it again, maybe. There we go. So you can see it snaps to certain points. So like that's perfect. Done. And what we'll do is we pull all of our logging camp workers off. We'll just keep doing that. We only have 10 months of food. I'd like to get a little bit more storage. So we'll leave the foragers on there for now. So this is going to allow more people to work on these. It's going to go a lot quicker. We'll put down one big one just in case we want to build an extension. And we got families joining these people. So you start off with, with settlers and then you get families to come and join them. They can help with little tasks. So all done with that. One thing we do have to be careful of, we are running low on food and fuel. So we need to make sure we don't run out of that. We do have two people on there still. Let's go ahead and put more in the forager hut. I'm going to move one off of the timber and put them on the forager hut. So now we need to build food stall, basically all the stuff at the market that people can furnish their houses with. And then we need to upgrade two uh, bur burgage plots to level two. And the only way you can do that is if you fill all of these. So we need two types of food, two types of clothing, some beer and faith. So church, which we'll do in due time. Now, one thing we are going to need very soon, and let's go ahead and take care of it right now, is the firewood. And we could put it down here so we don't uh, so we don't drain all of this wood when we're doing the logging camp. We'll kind of split it up where we take our wood from. How are we doing on food? We should be gaining food soon. Woodcutters are good to go. We got five timber. I think we want to keep one on there still. Let's just take one off of food, put one on woodcutter. So with this timber, we need to kind of figure out what we're, where we're heading next. So there is some wildlife. There's 40. We can get more food if we do that. So we'll probably build one over here. I think we'll put it on the perimeter. Let's leave a little gap in case we want to build another road there at some point. So that'll take up only one construction. Oh. No construction, actually. So let's take one more off of the forager, and we'll put... That person, when the hunting camp is done, we'll put them on there. And that's going to do two things for us. Not only are we going to hunt the animals for food, but we'll also get pelts. And the pelts, we can build a tannery and turn those into leather. And that will fulfill some of their clothing. Not all of them, but some at least. All right, we are starting to pile up timber quite a bit. So what we might want to do is switch them off of that. So we're not losing efficiency because right now this timber is just sitting there not doing anything. We can always move somebody back as we need it. And we can build a church, but that's not going to really help us in the short term. We are going to need a tannery pretty soon, but not quite yet. 
And we could build trading posts, both uh, livestock or the regular trading posts. That's going to come in handy, but we don't really have anything good to sell. So I think we'll hold off on that. So at this point, our food is going up and our fuel is stable, but not really going up. We've got two, three on food, one on timber and one on uh, wood cutting for the fuel. Actually, that is starting to go up a little bit, so we probably don't have to worry about that too much. We don't really need the timber as much. We're going to need to build some stuff and start working. And what we could do, bring more families in. We'll have to feed them and everything, but that'll give us more uh, opportunities with a bigger labor force. So let's see what this looks like. And build two more there with the extra extensions. I think that's fine. Let's do that. So every time you build a burgage plot, you get an extra family. So families have more than one person in them, but you can only control. So for example, when I want to collect more wood, more timber, I have signed a worker, but that takes the entire family, not one person within the family. So for example, if we want to max out all of these to be working all the time, we'd need three, four, that's seven, eight, nine, 12. We need 12 total. That's obviously not going to happen. Plus we have lots more storage. So this, what I've noticed with this game, it's all about balancing or rather not balancing. I, I kind of prefer to just throw everybody on one task at a time, fill up and then have a nice little stockpile. So for example, right now we are low on food and fuel. So let's take everybody off of this. Let's spam out the food. I think I'd rather have the hunting because we want to max out pelts. So we've got two, four on there, one on wood cutting. We've got two extra families. We can put three there total. So let's go ahead and do that for at least a couple months. Let's build up our stockpiles and then we can throw everybody at whatever task we're working on next. So we got our first pop up here saying storage limit reached. And what that means is these are full not our actual storage house but the storage in these individual buildings so what we can do is we can back actually let's not back off of this one let's back off of the fuel we have quite a bit of fuel now this has both meat and pelts so let's put one one person in each of the granary in the storehouse what's going to happen is these guys are going to come out here with these carts they're going to pick stuff up and bring it back to storage making more space in here so let's watch here they come and if you're ever not sure what they're doing, you just go to the people's tab and it'll it'll show you exactly what they're doing. So right now he's gathering. See, he's got that cart. He's going to go pick it up. Boom. And he's going to bring it right back. Now, when you have the cart, they can carry 10 times as much as if they didn't have the cart. I believe it's 10 times. I think it's one by hand and 10 if they do it that way. So if you don't put people in these storehouses, it's very inefficient for people to carry things by hand so it's it's usually good to once in a while drain stuff okay berries will die out during winter and they'll grow back again later so we need to take everybody off of the berries so that's not going to work anymore now we got to rely on on meat or something else now we hunted this from 40 down to 30 so that's going to be a concern because that's the only one we have in here and you can set what the hunting limit is it's not going to go below 20 so we'll leave it there i think that should be fine Hopefully we have enough food to survive though. That's a little concerning. Yeah, that's another drawback of, of dealing with the berries. So what else can we do in the meantime then? We could start getting ready to plant stuff in a farm. So right now it's not a good time to plant, but it is a good time to build and prepare for planting. So emmer fertility is for wheat, which we can turn into bread. Barley is for the beer. Flax is for clothing. And actually there's some, some decent, uh, oh, it's, it's actually really good down here. So the darker green it is, the better fertility you're going to get, which means you can get a better yield from your farms. So you'll see when you, when we put it down, it'll have a percentage over it. So let's put our farm down somewhere in this area. Actually, let's put it on the outside. And I don't really care about uprooting trees because we're going to basically bulldoze this whole area. So Emmer, let's put enough so that three people can work on it. I used to do five and then you would have you would have enough supplies to last for like literally an entire year. It's insane. Uh, so that's actually okay. We'll do that. All right, too steep. We can't build it on too steep of a an area. So let's just do this. So this is for four, no matter how far we go. You can min-max it a little bit by just kind of figuring out where it clicks to get four. And then that'll save this side. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to have two plots up here. So we're going to do one... Oh, let's just make sure that's okay for barley, or flax at least. See, it's good for emery, not so good for barley. So maybe we could do this one for flax then. So there's that. 
And then the barley, there's not really any good areas around here. So we can just do one right here. Since it doesn't really matter where we do it. So we'll we'll build our four four plots. You can have one farm servicing many, many plots. So don't worry about doing one to one. It's it's you only have enough tools to build one of these in the beginning anyway, so. Right, we got two unassigned families, that's good. That'll give us plenty of people to be working on that. And we're still working on wood cutting. That's gonna give us fuel. And our, actually our food is still going up even with only two people on, on this part. I think it's probably because the food's actually coming back to the storehouse. I'm wondering, wondering if it doesn't count it. No, it still counts it. But we are gonna burn through food since we have quite a few families here. Let's go see the farm being built. The farm's done, so it makes sense to check the fertility of each one is. So notice this one has really good emmer, pretty good flax, and very mediocre barley. If we go over here, the barley is a little bit better. And here the barley is the worst, I think. So I think putting the barley, barley is going to be the, the choke point because these all have really good emmer and flax. So let's put barley there. And then emmer and flax, 85 and 71, 86 and 74. So it doesn't really matter, they're both kind of mediocre. Or actually, they're, they're decent is what I meant to say. So flax there, ember there. And as soon as this uh, snow defrosts, we'll be able to put some workers there and they'll they'll take care of the fields. All right, we've got to keep tabs on, on how our uh, necessities are doing. Now we could probably get rid of the storage house people. Let's go ahead and put more back on here. And let's also get some timber. We'll probably need some soon. We'll at least build up a stockpile, especially in the winter time when you're not able to deal with certain foods. So for example, we can't deal with berries. We can't harvest any of our uh, food. We can't plow or sow. So it's it's good to try and bulk all of the stuff that you can't do when there's restrictions. So summertime's great for crafting or like, for example, if you want to turn these hides, uh, these pelts into leather, this is a perfect time to do it. You just blast through it all summer or oh, sorry, all winter. You do with pelts, you collect some trees, and then when the weather's nice, you focus real hardcore on food. So we just finished off February. That's the end of the winter. Spring, berries are starting to regrow and we can plow quickly for a summer harvest. We've been able to amass a decent amount of fuel here so we can probably pull people off of fuel. Let's go and do that. So no more fuel. We have 20 timber. Let's pull them off of timber. We'll try and put everybody we can on this. Now, if you see this, this little twirling thing, that means you don't have enough people. So we have seven total. There's five here, and then don't forget we have two still on the hunting camp. So we'll pull that back. We don't need to, to do that. And how are these animals doing? They're down to 20, so we got to stop hunting that. Yeah, food's, food's going to be an issue until we get the farms up and running. So with the farmers ready to go, they're going to start tilling the fields. And if you click on this specific farm, you can see the progress. If we can get it to stay. Very slowly going up. So 70% there. 17% there. So they're mostly fo focusing on the flax for now, which is fine. We'll have all three of these done real soon. Once they're done plowing, they need to lay the seeds down. So they're going to sow the fields. So see, this one's still not plowed yet. So they need to do, they'll need to handle that one. Really the important one, barley is pretty important. I think the emmer is going to be really important because food's going to be an issue for us. Yeah, we're starting to slide back a little bit. We were at six months before. Okay, so things are growing on their own now. All three of these are done. So there's, there's nothing these people can do. So if you go to people procrastinating, go inside, they're just wasting time. So we want to make sure they're staying efficient. Let's go ahead and kick them off of here. These just need time. Once they're ready, we bring people back to harvest. This one needs 157 days, 57. Yeah, they're all about the same. So we'll, we'll handle all those at the same time. Now there's berries back out there. Let's get lots of people on berries. We got to collect as many of those as we can. And we have a decent amount of fuel. We have timber already. Now would be a good time to start expanding to some other type of uh, good that we need. So let's go to industry. A tannery is going to be really important for dealing with pelts. Now our storehouse is here, so we can build it somewhere around the storehouse. Let's get a tannery. Try not to crowd it too much, I guess. So we'll go there. And again, we have that one unassigned family. They're going to help build this really fast, and then we can assign them to the tannery. They'll start pulling pelts from there and turning it into leather. And that leather is going to get distributed to people as clothing. All right, Tannery's done. Let's go ahead and throw him in there. Just pulled some pelts. He's going to go ahead and do his thing. And again, if you're ever not sure, you just go to the people and it'll tell you. So they're transporting and then crafting. So they go grab stuff, then they come back and craft. And then we can keep tabs on what they're turning into what. So four, four leather, five leather so far. There's a couple more in process still. Pretty cool. And we don't need to spam that out. We'll just keep people where they're at. So our food is going up now. Seven months. 
fuel went down a little bit, but again, we have a nice buffer there. This is why I love doing that. Now let's keep tabs on our crops. So these still need quite a bit of time. Again, 130 days, so we're still a ways away. We can focus on other things in the meantime. And we'll keep tabs on how many pelts we have. Looks like we're gonna start running low on pelts soon. And that's one of the, another one of those things that I like to mass bulk all at once. And I would normally do that during winter, but again, we don't have anything else to do because we have a very young village. Now, what else could we do while we're waiting? We could build some more things. We do need a marketplace. So let's go ahead and build a market area and let's do it in a central location. I think somewhere in this area would be, would be nice. All right, there's our marketplace. It's huge. We definitely don't need it that big, but we'll, we'll make sure this stays nice and aesthetically pleasing. So we need one of each stall. So we've got one for food, one for the firewood, and one for clothing. And we still have a decent amount of timber. We don't really need to focus on that again. It, it's probably more efficient to not stock up on them too much, but um, my attention spans that of a two-year-old, so... I can focus on one thing at a time really well and 10 things at once very, very poorly. So I just do usually do it like this. <laughs> All right, so this is starting to stack up. Let's see how this is stacking up too. Yeah, see these have got quite a few, quite a few goods in there. So what we're probably gonna wanna do is back off somewhere. Now they're starting to go below that animal limit, which means they probably won't need that extra hunter until they start reproducing more. So let's go ahead and put somebody in the granary. They're gonna go grab the excess stuff. So good, he's gonna grab his cart. There goes the cart. Where's he going first? down here probably to grab some of this meat yep 10 meat just like that and then at some point he'll go over and grab the, the berries as well and again let's check on our our crop so they're coming in nice they're starting to sprout look at how beautiful that is waving in the wind damn this game looks good it, it really does I, i'm used to playing banished so going from that to this is is a huge upgrade and don't get me wrong banished was fun but I feel like this one's gonna have a lot more complexity and, and quite a bit more replay value. All right, so the meat's almost drained from there. I'm assuming he's gonna grab these with this cart soon. Where are you? So we wanna find out where he's at. Let's go to people. So he's still using the cart to grab that. And how are we looking here? 65 days, 63. So they'll be ready at slightly different times. That should be enough time for us to get in there and chop them up. And before we reach that point, what we're gonna to wanna to do is build infrastructure so we can utilize that stuff right away. And we're in summer. We'll be in autumn pretty soon and then winter right after that so we're obviously going to want to have that stuff set up so we're not wasting time so this is fine we can we can leave a little bit there oh i know why they weren't using the hand cart because there's four i put four in here and there's only one hand cart and if we were to drop this down to one it'd only be one person using the hand cart so that makes sense all right i'm an idiot <laughs> still learning so let's do this we're going to need some flour and some bread we could build another granary and storehouse on this side so we can have storage on both sides that'll save quite a few uh, trips i think we'll do that it's probably a good idea and, and they're not that expensive so let's build kind of at the crossroads here and we'll put enough, enough space in case we need to get by at some point let's do that let's back off i'm a double idiot i was on the granary not i was on the forger hut not the granary <laughs> anyway either way we got quite a bit of food so we'll be okay on that for a while and we have a lot of people let's see mostly hunting a lot of people in foraging which is important right now because that food source dries up during the winter 44 days we're almost there yeah we don't need a ton of people rushing these projects because again we can't really use them until we have the resources so barley to malt we're gonna need that we're gonna need a brewery we have a tannery already and we're gonna need a weaver's shop so flax to linen let's deal with the weavery first and let's just put it right next to it. And how are we doing on timber? We're okay. We need four and seven. So we could do all of these, actually. And I think I'm going to put this... Yeah, we'll start putting some stuff on the inside. And that was the malt house and the brewery next to it. Yeah, little town's turning into something nice. All right, we got to re really keep an eye on this. 12 days. We don't want to be in inefficient with this. So we'll, we'll pull people off as soon as these are ready. Nine days. So these are going to be the fastest ones. This is going to be the... Or is it just changing fast? Okay. No no biggie. So when it's about one or two days, we'll pause. We'll start pulling people off of their current task. Four, three... All right. Two days. Done. So let's pull people off of the berries. Or actually, we won't be able to do that during the winter time. So what we could do... And how are the animals doing? Yeah, they're stuck at 20. We'll leave that alone. I think that's probably the, for the best. We still have 15 months of fuel, 13 months of food, so we're really good on pretty much everything at this point. We just need to get better quality materials. So let's go ahead and pull some of the... Oh, actually, you know what? 
the berries are all harvested at this point. Yeah, we, we cleaned that one dry and this one. We cleaned both of them dry. This one's got 10 left. So let's go ahead and throw everybody on here. Four, and then we have one here. Where are we using our people? Let's just make sure we keep tabs. One on the tannery, which is not really doing us any good because we don't have any pelts there. So we'll pull him off. Storehouse. There's one in the granary, probably not really all that useful since this is drained. This is drained, yeah. So we're gonna throw everybody on these. So that's six, unless I can't count. Yeah, six. And then the seventh is in here hunting. Perfect. So we'll, we'll run with that. All right, two days, get ready to start harvesting. <laughs> it's almost harvesting season. All right, there we go. So they're, they're pulling this down. Storage is full, where are we full? Okay, so it's full in the field, that's fine. Once that's all done, actually, you know what we can do? That's gonna happen really quickly. Let's pull people off of that. And let's get some people in, one in storage, one in granary, and we'll try and pull all that stuff out. Oh, they're going the wrong way. <laughs> well, that's fine. You guys do what you gotta do, I guess. Okay, so these are just sitting out in the field, and they will start to decay if they just sit there too long. It hasn't been long enough now at this point, so we're still okay. Yeah, here they go, they're starting to pull stuff back in. So that's good. They'll, this farm has a huge storage capacity. So we can use that. And you can see there's still quite a bit in the field, but they're going to drain all that. Once those are all in, now what we can do is... Ooh, our clothing stall is full. That's good. And you can see we, we're fulfilling the clothes type here. So two types of food, clothing. Now we need faith, entertainment, and one more type of clothing, which we'll get from the flax. We'll be able to put, put out some linen. All right, so this is pretty much done, right? Is there any more? I don't think so. And we can double check by going to people, waiting, crafting, transporting. So transporting is still doing some good and they're plowing now i don't think we want to plow we're going to give it a break every time you harvest it drains some of the efficiency so you can do a crop rotation so we'll do flax in this one now and you can do it manually you can do flax emery barley and this one was flax so we're going to do emery next barley and flax and that'll give it time to to recover let's start with the fallow this one had flax, so we'll do emery and then flax. This one was barley, and this was the only one that had decent barley. So let's go ahead and let's go fallow. Let's go two fallows, one barley. I don't know if that's efficient. I actually need to test that out a little bit. And then this one's going to be flax, emery, and fallow. So that'll keep them on a nice rotation. We don't have to worry about micromanaging that. The only thing we have to micromanage is the people. So at this point, Let's go ahead and go down to one. Yeah, I guess you can plow. Oh, you know what? Actually, they yeah, they should probably plow, huh? All right, we'll leave it like we'll leave it like that for now. And fallow doesn't need, need to be plowed. It just uh, stays empty, so we don't have to worry about that one. These two will need to be plowed though. And actually, we should follow this one and Emery next. We should put a fallow in between because we just we literally just did it. So this should be flax, and this should be fallow. Sorry, fallow. Flax, there we go. So that'll be a good crop rotation for that. It won't burn out the soil. Storage limit reached. Not a big deal. So these are, yeah, these are all ready to go. So they're plowed, they're sowed, and then again, this one's staying empty because it's fallow, so we don't have to worry about that. Now let's look at what we have in this building. We've got a decent amount of flax and barley and grain. Oh, you know what? We can't do anything with the grain until we build some stuff with the timber. So we need more timber now. Let's take these people off. We don't need them. Let's put three on timber and let's start the process at least. We'll put one in malt house. Actually, you know what? We're not in a rush. Let's put two on malt house. We'll get the beer going. There we go. Now they got the barley. So they're gonna start making some malt. And once that malt's all converted, we can start making the brewery stuff. Making the beer, the ale rather. Actually, I don't know what the difference between beer and ale is. I'm sure somebody's gonna leave a comment. Help me, man, I'm ignorant. <laughs> All right, and that malt should be taken back here. Yep, it's starting to get stored here. And where is the barley? So we'll burn through all the barley. Actually, how are we doing? 12 and 12, so we're still okay. So here's the one we wanna watch for. All that barley's gonna get burned up, and then we're gonna take everybody off and we'll put them over on the brewery. And we have a decent amount of timber. Let's see how much timber we need actually. So it's gonna be under the farming. We need a windmill and a communal oven. Now the windmill does matter where you put it. 
So you can't just put it anywhere. If you notice right here, it says efficiency. So it's not gonna turn so fast if you don't have it in a good area with lots of wind. I did see a 90 earlier. Where was that 90? I think it was down here. Yeah, 94, 95. We don't want it too far away. And if we put it in this awkward spot right here, we can't build anything in this little pocket. So I'll, I'll move it a little further over just to give it a little breathing room. That's fine. We can do that. And actually we can put the communal oven. Yeah, see, look at <laughs> That's exactly what I was talking about. Let's move him as far to the left as we can, or to the right as we can rather, and still be able to put our bread. There we go. All right, we're watching the barley. One barley left. All right, that's all the barley. Let's make sure they burn through these. And they need to finish converting. So let's take one off of there. Actually, I think they're they're fully done. Sometimes if you cut it off too early, they're in mid mid processing. Uh, they won't finish, so you want to make sure they finish all of that. So now we don't have to worry about malt house at all until we do another barley run. And we're not going to do that for a little while. Okay, so we have quite a bit of timber still coming in. I think we can probably take them off. Let's get up a little bit of a... Let's save up a little bit before we pull them off, though. Maybe we'll get like uh, 8 or 10. That way we don't have to do an emergency and pull people off. Stocks damaged by weather. So that's our firewood. So they didn't pull it from here and put it in storage quick enough. I guess it deteriorated. And that's why you generally want to get everything out. So like for example right here, these are at danger. Let's see if they're deteriorating. No, they're not. They're, they are being transported though. So we're, we're moving them into storage as fast as we can. And we could upgrade the granary. That'll give us plus one hand cart, which is kind of nice because then it's two people that can take 10 things at once. And how are we doing on the barley? Or the malt, rather. There's still... Okay, so that's gone. It's all in here in the storage now. So we'll we'll just keep converting that. Yeah, what we probably should do... Let's see. The weaver shop. We should probably put somebody in there as well. So how are we doing on food here? 20 animals. So that looks like it's a good equilibrium with just one person in there. Actually, what we probably should do is pull him off. We only have 31 meat, though. Let's let that populace get back up. They grow slower the fewer animals they have, I believe. So let's let's let them multiply a little bit before we uh, chop them up. So we'll put somebody in flax. That's going to convert it over to linen. And that's going to give us our second clothing right here. We need entertainment, which we have. We just need to build the, um, the tavern. And then the church we have. We just need to build the timber. So, and that doesn't require anybody to, to be working there. You just put it down. So let's put the church. And the church is not, I wouldn't call it a useful building necessarily. It doesn't really have any production. So we'll just put it kind of middle of nowhere. And then the tavern, we can put it pretty close by. Uh, not enough resources. Yeah, let's keep doing that. So we got two people working on the logging camp that'll eventually get there. Now we do have one person in the storehouse. I don't think we need that person anymore. Let's put one more in the, the, the weavery shop. And let's see, that's the malt being used. Oh, and that's right, the flax is actually in here. And they're still pulling stuff from, from the farm, so that's good. We're starting to run a little bit low on food. And our fuel is starting to get to that point where we'll probably want to pull people off and, and stockpile it a little bit. Let's get some more timber though. For the meantime four logs there so here's what we're going to do now we don't have any more malt right let's make sure everything's converted to ale let's pull these guys off let's finish off the flax so we don't have to worry about it anymore and let's start dealing with the windmill we need food we're going to be running out of food here not too soon but in the near future and we only need two food sources We've got a ton of one type of food. We have quite a bit of berries, but we're out of meat. So now these people are going to lose that second one. But by doing this, we're going to be able to make quite a bit of bread. So we'll, we'll put that into the bread. Let's pull off of the granary, and that'll allow us to put somebody in the oven. And again, let's keep an eye on this because the flax is... We're going to burn through that flax real fast, which is perfect. And again, we won't have to worry about that for a year or two. Here we go. Let's keep an eye on the flax getting burnt here. Five left. Last one. And it looks like the production cycle's done. So let's pull everybody off of there. So malt's good to go. Brewery's good to go. Let's start spamming out some food. So we'll make a ton of flour. Decent amount of bread. And that should hold us over. Yeah, we've got cloth, quite a bit of leather. And those will make their way to the, the stalls in the marketplace. Yeah, look at how much bread we got. Man, that thing goes fast. All right, we need to pull somebody off. 
and put them in the granary because that's just a lot of food. We need somebody to pull food out. Yeah, get your cart. Go pull that bread. Oh. Oh, you want the flour first. <laughs> Not the flour, man. There's probably a way to, to do that. Uh, to tell them which ones to take and which ones not to take, but I haven't messed with that yet, so. No biggie. That windmill is just humming, man. Look at all that flour. There we go. Now he's pulling the bread. Oh, and then back to... <laughs> uh, they gotta maybe be a little bit more efficient here. I guess there's, there's probably a setting for that. I'm just not sure how to do it. Set work area. I could probably just not include do it so it's outside of that. I won't do it right now. I'm not, not really complaining. Just uh, making an observation. So we've got a decent amount of food coming in now. And how are our crops doing, actually? Oh, they're... They're just about ready to go. Oh, we have a lot of wood now. Ooh, that's too much. <laughs> okay, we made too much. Let's go ahead and try and get through some of this food. Now, the forager hut, we can reman again. There's Plenty of berries in there. 104, 120, that's good. And how is our berry stocks? 103, 113 rather. So let's pull one off. Let's go two on the forger hut. And we could build quite a few more burgage plots, get more people to work in here, but I'm just trying to keep it simple right now. I might do another run later tonight and just see how big I can get it. Just for the lulls. Okay, so he's done a good job on that let's go ahead and start collecting some firewood again because we are starting to run low on that there's six months there and let's actually pull not the hunting camp let's go ahead and put two more in there how are the yeah the animal population up to 40. i i think it caps out around 40. i'd have to double check actually let's do that let's put one off of the wood hut the woodcutters and put one into the hunting just so we don't lose efficiency with that animal camp and as always got to keep an eye on the crops 93 days so three months and we're almost there. Actually, we, we have the clothing done. We have that done. We just need to put it down, actually. What we should do is do that. Let's go ahead and put our tavern. Did we build a tavern? We did not. We built the church. Let's build our tavern. I kind of want to keep the, the forest there. It looks kind of cool. Not too far from the brewery. We'll put the tavern. Oh, yeah. We're stacking that bread. Not literally. Or literally the bread. Not, not, uh, not cash. Not yet. We'll start selling stuff soon. So pantry's getting full. We could probably move somebody. Ooh, wow. That one's full, actually. <laughs> Yeah, that's a lot. We could upgrade it. Why don't we do that? Let's just upgrade it. So if you upgrade your granary, it makes it uh, 1500 storage instead of 500. And then it also gives you a second hand cart. Communal oven, no room. Yeah, so we got to take him off. We actually have quite a bit. We probably don't need to run these two. So let's make sure that gets built. Make sure the granary gets upgraded and the tavern gets built. And then we probably want to have somebody in the clothing stall. Let's put somebody in the clothing stall so they can get both leather and the cloth. We want to make sure we have both. Yeah, because right now they're only getting the one. People are bringing stuff, and they'll have that finish up pretty quick. Yeah, look at that. Big storage. And pretty cheap, too. Three wood is nothing. We should probably upgrade this one, too. Let's see. Yeah, it's actually not full at all. So we'll just keep it. And everybody is waiting patiently. Look at that. <laughs> now they can go get drunk. I mean, I don't know what else you would do for fun back then. There we go. We got ale. We got everything except for the clothing. And this may not... Let's see. Yeah, it may not do any more clothing because it's full. So what we might want to do is either build another one or delete that one and rebuild it. I don't know. Let's build a second one. Let's pull them off of that. Yeah, because we should be able to do this. Oh, we ran out of food. No, we have plenty of food, but we don't have anybody in the food stall. So we can fix that. No big deal. All right. Fuel storage is coming in real nice. How are the animals here? 22. So they're starting to get hunted down again. Let's go ahead and put one back on the food stall. One back on the clothing stall. And that should distribute all the goods that we need. What kind of foods you got? Yeah, there you go. Three types of foods. Beautiful. And you, clothing stall, what are you going to fill it with? Leather? We don't want that because the other one has leather already. All right, get something else. 
transporting. And he's coming from down south. Yeah, there we go. Cloth. Perfect. Beautiful. Now we can start upgrading. And we need four wood to do it. Now these are the ones that have the extra upgrades. So let's... Let's, let's do these four. We have wood, yes. Oh, they just lost the food source. <laughs> these guys have the food source. We could upgrade that if we wanted to. I think we'll just wait. Because we can't build the uh, attachments. We can build the attachments down here. And I'd, I'd rather keep it on this. Yeah, there we go. So that'll be our three. It took me a little longer than I did on the last ones. But this build, this is a bit bigger than... I usually keep them a little bit more compact. This one's going to be a nice sprawling town. I mean, we could really go big with this one. Yeah, a lot of people in here. And then industry's kind of spidering out from there. Almost there. Yeah, see, these people now have three types of food. That's good. All right, that's all three. That should... Oh, this one's still being done. Now, the reason I don't usually go for these, vegetable, chicken, it gives you another food source, which is nice. And it doesn't take up any extra land because you have it already built into the burgage. The problem is it, it takes one of your workers, so it, it permanently puts them in here. You may There may be a way to take them out, but yeah, it basically has somebody working it full time. And I feel like I'd rather be able to have that flexibility to throw my workers around where I need them. Now, one thing I didn't, check with too much on with these extra upgrades and i can't tell what they are because it doesn't tell you well ale sewing yeah so you could do you could do some other ones maybe it helps you so you don't have to build as many workshops but we'd have to build uh i actually just need money and money is pretty easy to get we'll do that soon all right so there's that quest done and that's Pretty much it that's the demo you are done at this point however we've got a big city going right now and i don't see why we'd want to stop we got a lot of things we got to do still yeah we've got stocks of everything we could start turning this into a nice money maker actually how much bread do we have 172 bread is really expensive to buy or to sell so that's obviously a good thing for us so we'll create a trading post now, the trading route is this main road we start building on, so I think it's usually better to build it somewhere along that. But also not too far. You don't want it too far from your storage houses because they have to transport the goods. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, we can pull one off. Our firewood's coming in nicely. We can pull that. And these animals are starting to build back up to 40, so we can just cycle that on and off. Now, how are we doing on leather? We're good on leather. We're good on cloth. Like I said, it's it's so nice when you don't have to keep worrying about it. Now, this we forgot to do. So it is now autumn and it's going to be winter soon. What we should do is pull everybody off of everything and have everybody go so we can get rid of that stuff before it goes bad. And that's what we're going to do because I forgot. <laughs> Where else are our people? We yeah, the forger hut. Actually, those are probably all used up anyways. This one's got a little bit left, actually. Granary. I think we had somebody in this granary, didn't we? No, we didn't. Okay, is that... If we unpause, does that reroute them? Alright, there's still two being used somewhere. Where am I using them? Oh, that's right, the, the markets. Yeah, we don't need them on the market. Everybody's got what they need. That mission is accomplished. All right, so let's pull everybody back here. Yep, they're all there now. So everybody's assigned. And our approval rating has gone up because we've been doing good work with giving the people what they want. Church, clothing, food variety, all that stuff. And ale. Can't forget the ale. All right, let's see what they're doing now. Waiting, crafting. Oh, so they're not... Hmm, I thought they were going to harvest. Is it not... A... Maybe it's not the right time. Let's give it another second. Okay, so it's not the right time. I guess you have to do it during summer or autumn, is my guess. Next summer, yeah. I still got to figure out the best routine for that. Uh, it's still a little bit up in the air. Let's just pull these people off then. They're not, not doing any good here. So firewood, we don't need a whole lot of. Timber, we don't need a whole lot of. We're good on a lot of these things. We're going to be selling some bread. So let's start making more bread. 
Pelts, we have more pelts. We could have somebody working on a tannery. And we're going to want to have a couple of people at the trading post. And we can also upgrade more burgage plots. I don't see that as a necessity. We finished the, the quest. I don't think it really helps you either. I don't really know what it does when you have a higher, higher building level. I don't know if it gives you more people. I don't think so, though. Yeah, it's still three. What does this one have? Still three. Yeah, so there's no real, real benefit other than fulfilling the quests. Now, with the trading post, there's different tabs depending on what kind of items you're trying to trade. We don't have a lot of this stuff or a lot of it's not really worth trading. So example right here, you see the import export is two. And over here, salted meat, we don't have any of that. We do have bread, but look how expensive it is. Eight. That's huge. And then we could also sell some other things like leather. Leather's nice. We don't have a ton of it. And I would prefer not to have to farm that since we're doing kind of limited production. And we don't really have anything else. We have ale. Ale's really hard to come by though because you have to wait for the cycle. You have to wait for the cycle for the bread too, but holy crap, we have so much flour and grain. So we're going to do the bread. So let's go ahead and sell. We, we need to click right here. You can do import only, export only, both. So you can import and export and it'll keep it at your equilibrium price or don't trade at all. We want to export only. Now you can click. If you hold shift, it'll click faster. And this will keep this will keep you at a certain limit. So right now, our target is to stay at 100. We're going to sell everything over 100, so we can sell up to 76. And then obviously as we use or replenish the stock, it'll change. But once we hit 100, it will not dip below that. But we'll be able to sell a ton of stuff. Let's put our two traders in there. And they should start loading this up. Let's see what they're doing. Transporting. Yep. So they're bringing all kinds of stuff. And of course, it's like in the way the whole time. <laughs> But anyways, you can see the storage starting to fill the pantry. So we've got quite a bit of bread in there. And it is removing it from our granary. Oh, kind of a cool note. I mean, th this guy thought of a lot of little details. You can even change the sound of the bell. So if you want to sound like this ghetto little village, you have this dinky little... <laughs> That's my favorite bell. That's for the poor people. And we're, we're poor, so we'll, we'll use the poor bell. Ton of, of bread in here now. So once that trader comes by, if they're looking for bread, they're going to get... Uh, we're going to get a windfall of, of gold. And we still... Look at this. Look how much grain we still have. 500. We've got 100 flour in there. Ton of bread still sitting there. I mean, it's, it's crazy how just a little bit of wheat makes a ton, ton of food. So that's why I was saying before, I had before one where you can put five people on the farm. This one's only four. And even that's too much. Oh, we just got a shipment. Look at that. 376. That is massive. I mean, these upgrades only cost you 25. And we've got 376 in one go. That's a lot. So let's pull them off. We're going to use that money to buy livestock. Let's go ahead and buy livestock here. Now... I don't mind cutting this part off because you can't really go down there. We'll put a road down there maybe. Oh, maybe it won't let us. I think it's too steep. We can put it on the inside. Do we want to use that land up though? I don't think we do. We can put, it, we can put them across from each other. That's fine. Yeah, let's do that. And what we'll do here is we're going to import some livestock. And that's going to give us more sources of... Um, I don't know if you can do meat with them. I, I haven't noticed that, but you can do a sheep farm, which gives you wool, which you can turn into cloth, which we already have cloth covered, but it's just another way to do it. So I, at this point, like I said, we've kind of covered most of the stuff. I mean, we, we could we could collect some more raw materials like ore. Uh, yeah, we have one right there. So we can make tools and, and deal with that. We don't really need it for anything, so it's kind of pointless, but... Very cool demo. I, I'm really impressed with what they've got so far. Uh, this isn't even including any of the combat stuff. So Now, same thing here. What we're going to do is we're going to have to open up. We're going to import sheep. And let's go ahead and get, say, four sheep. That's probably more than enough. And actually, probably only need one person there. And then we can start working on a farm for that. So back to farming. It's going to be pastures and sheep farm. So let's do our sheep farm. 
Let's do the sheep farm over here. And the pasture doesn't need to be anywhere special. We'll keep it in the back so it's not blocking any of our future buildings. Now, this, this is good for 13 animals. We're going to be holding four. So like I said, we don't need much at all. And what we probably should be doing is putting somebody in the storehouse because a lot of these... Like this one's got a ton of cloth. It's just sitting there. It could get damaged. Let's get rid of that. How are we doing here? Still good on food, still good on fuel. That's that's one thing I'm, I'm bad at. I need to keep an eye on that sometimes. I forget. Sheep farm's good. We just need some sheep, which we're going to import once somebody comes by with some stuff that they'll be willing to sell us. Yeah, livestock post. And we got tons of ton of cash, so that won't be an issue. 20 each. That'll cost us 80 gold, and we'll be there real soon. There we go. We bought something. I heard it. Yeah, we got one sheep. Only one, but that's fine. So as soon as we assign somebody there, they'll they'll go ahead and wrangle the sheep over there. We'll we'll leave it for now. Yeah, look at this man. The the bread production is just out of control. Still have so much, and that's only from one harvest. And we've sold <laughs> we've sold a bunch of our bread. That's crazy. Although people are only getting one food type, which is fine. They doesn't matter. During a, once the game goes to full release, then it's going to be something we'll have to manage, though. So, something to keep in mind. But we only got three AO left. Alright, there we go. So he's pulling stuff out. The storehouse. That's one thing I'm bad at. I need to remember to pull stuff out once in a while. Oh, here comes somebody with the sheep. I see him. <laughs> yeah, how many sheep we got now? Two. Very nice. And as far as food goes, we could probably stop at the bread. <laughs> I think we went a little overboard on that, but that's just because we have so much supplies. So let's do this. Let's put some people on the granary. Let's put some people on this granary. And this storehouse. We, need more workers here. we have enough for that, right? At least large granary. Storehouse, good. And then let's put one person in the sheep farm. We'll get the, the sheep going. Get to work. So we, at this point, we'll drain everything we got. Yeah, we need to pull stuff. Okay, so that's that's good. These still have food in it. They need to drain out some of the materials there. And we're probably going to need to do this soon. I'm assuming we have more food. Yeah, we have more food than we have fuel, so we'll pull some people off of that. We'll maybe build up like a one or two year supply. All right, sheep are doing their thing. So what they do is they get wool. Oh, we got another one. Nice. So we need one more sheep. Yeah, there we go. There's the wool. And that wool can be taken to the weavery, and then they'll... Right, that one can do both flax. Where are you? Industry. Yeah, flax or wool for yarn. So yarn or linen. So we could actually technically have three types of clothing. That's kind of nice. Oh, we have our fourth, so we can, we can drop that. And let's put that person down here on woodcutter. So again, we don't really want to go below... We want to build that up to at least a couple years. That way we can focus on other stuff. Like I said, that's how I play. Short attention span. All right, these are going to be ready to harvest pretty soon. And this one is... Oh, we did not, we didn't plant that. So what we could probably do is pull people off the storehouses. And we had somebody in the, in the tannery. I think we used up all those pelts. So that's good. Let's put everybody on the farm. Let's get that going. So they are plowing and then they're sowing now. We may still be able to get the crop in actually. Yeah, it looks like it is still going to go in 120. So that's good. And we'll be able to do all those at once. We can get rid of these. They're not needed until that's ready. And what are we working on now? So we need plenty of this. We could use some more meat. And we are starting to run low on logs. Let's just pull a few up. So our fuel is coming in nicely. Which helps when you have three people in there. Like I said, we'll get it up to two years and then we'll just back off. We can focus on something else. Timber's looking okay. We'll pull that off. Let's go back to the weavery. We can use some of that yarn or the uh, the wool to make yarn. I think that would be a good idea. Looking back on it now, we probably could have put the granary in the storehouse here in the middle. If we knew we were going to do this kind of setup. And then we would only need the, the two instead of having two at either side. I think next next time I'll probably do that. And the min-maxing begins. <laughs> there we go. So they're making yarn now. So that'll be a third clothing type once that gets out there.
So yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, the only thing we didn't do is mining mixed with some of the industry stuff for iron and tools. Now, the thing with that is you need tools to make a farm. Let's see. That's the only thing you need tools for at this point. Farm. And we already have a farm, so I, I didn't really feel it's necessary to show that. Uh, this is a very limited demo. I mean, this guy was really nice enough to, to put it out there. I'm sure he's collecting some good data from it, but very, very cool. He's done a hell of a job considering he's working by himself. I've been following this for, I think, a year, maybe a little more. And I'm super excited to see where this thing goes because the city building is really, really fun. But to mix this in with army, with the military, having a campaign where you have this one little chunk of land and then you start expanding elsewhere. Let's say you need to, you want to get some honey because you need to, you know, appease your, your burgers or your upper classmen. Then you need to focus on taking that territory salt deposits so you can make your salted meats make them last longer whatever it is and then you got the really rich provinces this one's got clay deposits stone so you can make your fortifications your earthenware i mean this is just going to be so much fun i'm really excited to see what he does with this a lot of potential here uh, i could see the replayability on this one being a lot higher than other just straight city builders like Banished. I had a lot of fun with Banished, but I think I was done after about 60 hours. No, didn't want to play it ever again because I did everything that I that I wanted to do. This one, I feel like you're going to have a lot more options. So I've played this today for probably about six hours, five or six hours. And uh, yeah, I want to keep going. <laughs> but I've got other videos I got to do, so I'll probably stop for this. I, I may do it again if, if the people responded this well. But let me know in the comments what you'd like to see. I was thinking about doing something silly like trying to get up to a million uh, gold or whatever. I could just make this gigantic trading empire only using what we have here. I think that'd be kind of fun. Let me know if you want to see something like that. I would do something silly before the, the test runs up. This is going to run from today up until the 7th. So we got, uh, sorry, the 10th. It's it's a full week. So next week it'll end and then it'll go back to uh, under development again. And hopefully he does another one of these later. But uh, until then, I appreciate you watching. This is really fun. I hope you get a chance to, to hop on and try it out. It's free. You got nothing to lose. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.